up, you angry villains? It's your boy, Lou, and welcome to another episode of Drive-By with Luis Torres. So, I want to start off today's episode with a huge shout-out to my boy, Sean Davis, truck driver Sean. I'm going to put a link below in his in my description to his YouTube channel, and today I ended up waking up to FedEx ringing my doorbell saying, hey, what's up, Luigi? This is for you, from good old Sean, and it was a box full of pedals, which I thought was awesome. Um, so, huge shout out again to Sean. If you have not checked out Sean's uh, YouTube channel, again, click on the description below. Click on subscribe on his channel because he's literally this shy to reaching 3,000 subscribers. And when I say he's shy of reaching 3,000, I'm talking about he's at 2,997. So we need to try to sort him out and hook a brother up and get him to 3,000 subscribers. Um, and, you know, keep in mind, dude, that's my boy. I love that dude. You know, like a lot of the videos that I have is just because he's like, hey, I got a box full of pedals. You want them? I'm like, yes. Um, so again, huge shout out to Sean for being, you know, the best kind of YouTuber that there is. And that is the YouTuber who understands that regardless of the pedal that he has, everyone's going to have their own take on the way they demo a certain pedal. Everyone has their own persona and everyone does everything differently. So I don't get the whole mindset of, well, I'm not gonna send you a pedal because I wanna be the only one with it. The problem with that is, you know, you have this one pedal and guess what? There's 150 other people with the same pedal demoing it that you don't even know. So, you know, I don't know. I just think that if you're gonna sort anyone out, sort someone you know, sort out someone who appreciates your YouTube channel. You know, I have a bunch of subscribers who have YouTube channels and they're all absolutely incredible guys and I love all of them. And, you know, if I have a pedal and they wanna use it, you know, I drop it in a box and I ship it right out to them. You know, that's my thing. Like, here you go, have at it. Have fun with it and ship it back. You know, keep in mind that Sean just sent me a box full of pedals and he didn't charge me for shipping. He just shipped it and I'll, you know, follow up and do exactly the same thing. You know, I just think that that's what you do when you value the fact that everyone does everything differently, that no one's, no one's each other's competition. You know, once you start seeing someone else as your competition, I feel like that's when things start to go downhill. You can poke fun of other people. I do that all the time. <laughs> and I have a few buddies who will just send me messages and they're like, yo, did you see what this guy posted? And I laugh. You know, I just, I'm just like, yeah, I did. And yes, that's funny. And that's just how it is, you know? It's just how it is. So, um, so should you go ahead and look at everyone as a competitor? Probably not. Like, there's no fun in that. Like, yo, I'd rather, I'd rather be your boy and let you know that if you want to use anything that I have, that you can use it. You know, I just think that it's a better way of being. So, so click on the description and go subscribe to Truck Driver Sean. Um, also, if you guys have checked out my Fort and Sigil video, uh, and this is me just extending the olive branch just because you got to do that every once in a while. So if you caught the video, then you already know that at the end of the video, I kind of uh, was mean towards Mike Fortin's attorney, Rick. Uh, oddly enough or funny enough, him and I have actually been going back and forth over the last few days, and he's genuinely a nice guy. So... Uh, and it's funny, we'll send emails back and forth and I wasn't know if he was noticing, but every subject line, I change it to something else, you know, like today's was, uh, what was it? I forgot what it was like, I'm just like, oh, what's up? Slick Rick, you know, uh, <laughs> it's just funny. So, so yeah, so again, he's a really nice guy, which is cool to find out, you know, everyone, you know, I own a few businesses, my clients 
aren't necessarily a reflection of who I am. Uh, sometimes they're mean, and I'm just like, eh, they're just mean. Uh, you know, and that's just how it is, and it has no bearing on me. Uh, and I'm glad that I was chatting, or that I've been chatting with uh, with Mike Fortin's attorney. Uh, so it's all good. So, uh, all right. On top of that, or aside from that, I just picked up a 1993 ESP M2 Custom, uh, <laughs> which is red with about a half inch flame flame quilt uh, top, which is beautiful. So that should be coming in soon. And then uh, I've been eyeballing this one 1990 ESP Horizon. And I reached out to the seller, you know, maybe a week ago. And uh, turned out he still had it. He had lowered the price and uh, we kind of went back and forth a little bit. So I picked up that uh, uh, 1990 ESP Horizon, which is a fuchsia burst. So if you want to think of it, uh, go look for photos of Paige Hamilton from Helmet. Uh, it's, it's that color. The difference is that Paige has the newer uh, headstock reverse and mine is the old Cree Jackson lawsuit uh, headstock uh, reverse. So that's absolutely amazing too. So that's actually coming in from, Ca from California. Uh, so I'm psyched about those two. So I'll probably do an unboxing when those two arrive. And my boy is selling me a Mesa. I don't know if I'll buy it, um, but a few people are selling different Mesas. My buddy's selling a stiletto too. I have the first stiletto, which is great, but the second stiletto has more oomph to it. So I'll think about that. And then uh, I was already talking to my boy, Nick Williams, who picked up a, a Mesa Mark IV for like 300 bucks from some guy who needed some crack, apparently. That's how I look at it. <laughs> if you sell something like that for a, a few hundred bucks, you either stole it but apparently, I guess this guy's a guitarist, so he didn't steal it, he just had it, and was like, it's missing a knob, I will discount it down to $300, so he bought that, and uh, so maybe uh, I'll pick that up down the road, I don't know, we'll figure it out, good thing is that, you know, this whole COVID issue has gotten slowly but surely better, uh, which is great, and um, and I feel like you know, it's just uh, finally getting to the point where business is starting to pick up. Um, lots of couples are calling me for their 2021 weddings. Uh, I've been working with a few businesses locally uh, with their online marketing, with my marketing firm. Uh, I have two guys that are doing uh, pressure washing for me right now, which is awesome. And uh, things are going good, you know, finally, you know, I feel like you know, it's September. We lost an entire summer. Wah, wah, it is what it is. Uh, it's a hundred year virus that kind of got us. And, uh, you know, luckily things are getting better and hopefully next year will be infinitely better. So guys, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. I'm super funny all the time, all the time. I'm just not a very good guitarist. Go watch Sean Davis's channel. He's a good guitarist. Um, so guys, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be super awesome and hook your boy up, when you see one of my commercials pop up, hit the visit advertiser because I make about 35 cents, which believe it or not, uh, adds up at the end of the month when I end up with 140,000 views. Um, but if you don't click on it, I make one one thousandth of a penny and that's just how it goes. So if you want to hook your boy up and you don't feel like buying a dark wrench t-shirt, you don't have to. But if you want to hook me up when a commercial pops up, just hit visit advertiser and, uh, and hook your boy up. That way I make a little extra money. And if all of you guys did that, I would probably be able to buy a Paul Reed Smith MT-15 and 
an EVH 5153 EL34 every single month and have some kind of a contest uh, where I give them away literally every single month. Um, so hook your boy up. Let's figure out if we can do that. And thank you so much for watching. You guys are the best. And as usual, I will talk to you guys soon.